Thanks for joining us. On this edition of the show, we're going to take a look at how some of our older students have spent time and used their talents to encourage our elementary school students to read over the summer. And parents, if you missed our child development registration the last week of May, it's not too late. We have a late child development registration during the month of July. We'll talk about that and more right now as we take you inside Horry County Schools. These four and five year olds are more than ready for kindergarten next year and child development is what helped to prepare them. Next year going into kindergarten instead of these kids possibly being the lowest of their grade level or just going into kindergarten without knowing what to do, they're the leaders in their classroom. So they go in showing everybody else what to do, the procedures, some of the letters, the sounds, the little things that they've learned that really go in and make a difference in our kindergarten classrooms. That's why registration is so important for every Horry County child. They have to be four years old before September 1st and this is for, once again, all children. We want everyone to come out and register their child for child development. You never know what that specification might be that gets them into the program and we want to serve all children and give them all their best academic start. You can still register your child during the month of July at the elementary school located in your attendance area. Please contact your school to find out what the specific dates and times they will hold child development registration for the 2017-2018 school year and it's crucial to make sure your child reads over the summer, which is what these Carolina Forest High School students are trying to encourage these Palmetto Bay's elementary kids to do. We sent out these kind of information sheets. We came up with a list during class of what we need to ask each kid about to make a story for them. Mm -hmm. And we sent, we came up with a finalized list and we sent it over and we got back filled out forms about names, you know, their interests, their hobbies, their families, mm -hmm. everything like that. And then we each basically got a paper and we started writing a book. During the last week of school, each child's personal book was read to them and they took them home to read over the summer and hopefully even begin to think about writing because it was about my sister and and the Riddler. I'm very passionate. My my big thing is reading because I feel like a lot of kids now don't like to read and it kind of it bothers me on kind of a personal level because I was always such a reader. I'm like how do you there's so much that I've learned through reading that I'm just kind of like how do you not read? So I feel like this was kind of a way to like make kids want to read. Like, who doesn't want to read a book about themselves? No matter what age, we encourage students to read over the summer. And Ocean Drive Elementary is one of our schools that pairs up their fifth graders with child development students to make sure that happens. This is the Reading Buddies program at Ocean Drive Elementary. Throughout the year, these fifth graders meet up with these four and five-year-olds to help them with their reading and literacy skills. I like, like, teaching them interesting things so they know, like, the numbers, ABCs and stuff. Yeah, I get to teach her learn how to read and um, I get to have fun with her. And even when school ends, these students continue to meet up over the summer to practice their literacy skills. So today, parents have come to meet their child's reading buddy. Oh, she always talks about her reading buddy. She's like, it's just so much fun, and we we've had we we learned to read, and she keeps telling you know, telling us about stories that she's read and and stuff. So it, it was really awesome. Mia always comes home and talks about her reading buddy and how much progress she's made and everything that she's taught her. She actually loves to even go through all her little jewelry and get it together. So when she gets to see her reading buddy, she gives her a little present for doing so well. These fifth graders even help their reading buddies choose books that are on their Lexile level to read over the summer. And of course, they're still there to help. Because I like how they smile when we're reading with them. And these reading buddies become much more than just mentors. Yeah, she's like my best friend now. Well, because it's important to Chloe, so we have to meet her and see who she's getting to interact with and what she's doing, who's queer. Oh yeah, she absolutely loves her little reading buddy. I hear all about it. 
And again, parents, we still want to remind you, you can still register your child for child development classes during the month of July. Please contact your child's school for dates and times. Our teachers encourage all parents to bring in their child, and the July registration dates will be the last time your child will have the opportunity to register and be evaluated for these child development classes. For more information about Horry County Schools, just log on to HorryCountySchools.net. We hope you're having a great summer. Please continue to watch HCS TV 12 and check out our YouTube channel. For now, come again next time we take you inside Horry County Schools.